Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you are a subscriber already, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I constructed my Brazilian curly wig. The hair was bought from AliExpress by Unife. I am showing you guys all of what I used in the video. I used purple shampoo, some mousse, as well as bleach and some developer. A dome cap, but a mesh dome cap. And these are the bundles that I used. The hair was very, 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 very beautiful. The curls were amazing as well as the closure. It was very full, it was very thick. The curls were very consistent to the bottom. I used some gloves, a cup, and something to apply the bleach with. So I'm gonna start off the video by showing you guys how I bleached my knots. I just started my bleach process by adding the powder into the cup. So for developer I used 40 and this is the closure before I bleached the knots. Very very unnatural. So I began mixing the developer in the powder. And as far as consistency, you want the consistency to be very very thick so that it doesn't leak through your closure and make the hairs on your closure blonde. So I mixed and I mixed until I got the desired consistency. And then I began applying my bleach to my closure. the bleach I realized I had a lot left over so you actually don't need that much you then want to set a timer for 20 minutes and allow your bleach to bleach the knots I then went in with my purple shimmer light shampoo to get rid of any orange undertone allowing for my knots to look even more natural And that is how it came out. It came out very, very perfect. I am now going to take some needle and thread and begin sewing down my closure. After taking some tea pins and pinning down my closure, I got a rat tail comb and I combed the hairs and I put it into a very neat braid so that hair won't be in the way while I'm trying to sew down my closure and it allowed for my closure to lay flat and neat. that many youtubers use I created an extra knot when I began sewing down my closure and once I finished that section I started a new needle and thread well not a new needle and thread I started a new section once I finished one side then I did the middle and then I did the other side as well
have started a new section I didn't continue it from the last section this is so that if I do end up having a section on my closure where it gets loose I can go to that section and sew it back down rather than doing it all together and I will have to take the whole closure off in order to sew it back on bundles that I am using they were very very beautiful they're very full they're very thick and yeah 
So I began sewing on my bundles. I did not sew on the elastic band. I sewed above it. I also continued to do my flip over method throughout the whole process until I got to the very top. To avoid shedding, I did not cut my wefts. Like I said, I did the flip over mat that I did not cut anything until I got to the end. And yeah, I just sewed and I sewed. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch me sew and sew and sew. over method and for those who don't know what a flip over method is it is basically where you take that track and you flip it over once you go to once you make it to the end you don't cut the webs you continue it throughout the whole sewing process and you want to make sure that you lay down the track very very flat so that you can avoid lumps and bumps and all of that
Whoo, child, we done finally finished sewing down our bundles. Everything is looking good. Okay, the sewing was perfect. I was showing y'all how did how good of a job I did. Woo, woo, woo. And I want to show y'all my nails because I finally went and got my nails done. It was looking raggedy at the beginning of the video. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I did a good job sewing down everything, all the bundles. They laid flat. They were perfect. Boom, boom, boom. So now I'm gonna put back my wig on the blockhead and I'm gonna get ready to customize the closure. So I use a wide tooth comb, some water, a rat tail comb, and some tweezers. And I begin unraveling my braid that I made at the beginning of the video. professional perfect way of how I pluck my closure I just do it any kind of way I section it off and I pluck them pluck until I felt like it was how I wanted it to be not too much not too little however you customize your closure is how you customize it so yeah This is the finished look. It came out looking really, really nice. So now I can finally move on to the bleaching of the two streaks. So I just took some more bleach in my Fody developer, some gloves, a brush, and I put, I used one pack. I really didn't need it, but I just ended up using the other pack. And I placed some foil on my blockhead so that I wouldn't get any bleach on my blockhead. However much hair you would like to use to bleach is up to you. I took a little section, but then again, they were a little big, but that's how I wanted them to be. So you can section off as much hair or as much less hair as you would like. to keep in mind is that I already bleached my knots on my closure so when I bleached the hair I went all the way to basically like the the scalp area so I got bleach on that section so it kind of made my whole the front part of my closure blonde so that is why we use our purple shimmer light shampoo after I did complete bleaching the 
closure. I'm going to show the part when I clean it. But when I went and washed it again, I made sure I used extra purple um, shimmer light shampoo so that I can get rid of that extra blonde look in the front because it kind of seems as if I over bleached my closure. But really, I went and I bleached the front part of the closure so it looks like I basically blonde it all but you have to make sure you go back in with your purple light shampoo and get rid of those orange and blonde extra blonde undertones and what you don't want to have is the front of your streaks looking blonde and then the back of them black or your some roots are black some roots are blonde you want to make sure you go in and you apply as much bleach as you can and get into those little sections where um, most of them are black still and you can see the bleach kind of processing so you want to hurry up because it'll start bleaching and turning your hair very very fast on my blockhead I just bought it it was brand new so I was kind of like just trying to hurry up and get it done because I was getting it on there and the smell of the bleach is very very strong oh my gosh so I was really trying to hurry up and get it on there I did not care about the bleach getting on my blockhead I was just trying to hurry up and get the bleach on there I had one glove left I was just I was over it <laughs> that I left the bleach on there for a good 20 25 maybe even 30 minutes and then I hopped in the shower I wanted the bleach to process very well so that's why I left it on for a little while but you can leave it on however long you want to really is is up to you As you can see, I was pretty fed up because I really wanted to avoid getting bleach on my blockhead. But I just took some water and a towel and I wiped it off. So. So I went in with my purple shimmer light shampoo and I began applying my shampoo to the bleached hair. I made sure to scrub and scrub and scrub and get that purple shampoo into the hair because I kind of over bleached it like it was very very blonde like it was blonde. So I didn't want such a bright blonde with dark hair I wanted like a, a, a honey blonde. So. With applying so much shampoo and getting that purple to transient with that blonde blonde, it kind of allowed for the look that I wanted and the outcome was very, very good. So make sure you scrub and you apply as much purple shampoo as you can and scrub and scrub and scrub. As well as the knots, you want to get close to the, um, the roots of the hair, of the closure, so you can get that as well. So this is how I knew that this was really good hair. I bleached this closure, I bleached the knots, I bleached the front two streaks, and all it took was a rat tail comb to comb through, and it really, like, it combed through really well. It wasn't, I didn't have any knots or anything, no tangles, I just had to comb through. And I got a little bit of shedding hair, but I mean, that's, that's normal, that's nothing to go crazy about. Um, and then the curls actually came right back as well, so that let me know that this is really good hair.
curls I love it came out perfect I've gotten so many compliments on this hair how it looks on me the two blonde streaks I love it it's so unique and different make sure you guys subscribe like and comment um thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video